Hey there, everybody, T Bone Guy. Yeah, I'm still following the mysterious mustached man. Who's your friend? Ooh, looks like he's getting it on. I'm in on the action. I was actually aiming for the pole, but my life gives you lemons. Welcome back to an episode of Stalkers. <coughs> Damn it. Why is he following me? What did I do to him? I just, I, I just don't know how I offended him. Maybe the museum was age restricted. It was like PG. I had to be there with my parents. Right there in his pocket. Just trip down the stairs. Oh, it's that lady. And that's that. Pickpocket skill increased to 50. <coughs> and then later on in the game, I have to pickpocket his clothes. Oh. Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. The third person has grabbed me. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Your parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, mm. sore subject. His parents it was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. The technique is really sloppy, though. You telegraph and all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course. They might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down Allegro. <laughs> <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. The wallet. Mm. Had to try. Of course you did. Pickpocket skill decreased. Back down to 49. Well, am I just gonna break the display case now? Telegraphing all my oh, moves, no. huh? Oh, an open window. That museum has terrible security. Right. Museum's closed. He should run along it like uh, Sly Cooper. Run along the wire. Where's this rope? Ah, oh, this is rope. Imagine if these broke. That'd be wicked. There it is. Ooh. Close call. Ooh. Oh, that was close. And another close call. Where was that window? I forgot where the window was. Oh. <laughs> wow. Terrible, terrible museum security. And even worse curators. Why are they leaving treasure around? Any more? Oh! <laughs> Terrible. Any others? Nope. Hmm. I'm 
to me, my pretty, my precious, my beauty, my everything. Might as well just broke the display cart glass, because I doubt they'd have any alarms or anything. I mean, they don't even have any alarms on the doors. They don't even lock the doors or the windows. Whoa. Damn it, kid. Ugh. Why, How did they get in? The filthy little stray that made off climbing? with your wallet. Well, the years were not kind to her, let me tell you. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now. The ring. Another person grabbed me. It's because I'm a kid, isn't it? What ring? Catherine! <laughs> 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 Who do you think you are, she boy? Hit me. You're nothing but a filthy, cast off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. You're going down, lady. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. <laughs> Stop him! A horrible woman. Okay, I'm in control now. Ooh. Downstairs is not an option. I wonder what happens if they catch me. Oh. Nina, Nina, Nina. Whoa, did that guy go through the wall? <laughs> He's probably waiting on the other. Oh. Okay, he disappeared. Oh, God. These guys are desperate for this ring. Oh crap, oh crap. Get off. Oh. Boofed up runners. They're everywhere. Who the hell are these guys? They're Agent Smiths. I mean. That bird just doo doo. Uh, oh, <laughs> I tried to break the glass. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> just pretend that didn't happen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank goodness the table broke my fall. Are they gonna? Oh. We've got it. Excuse me, coming through. That guy just run to protect that. his TV. <laughs> that guy was coming to steal it. Uh, where do I go? Oh, I see it. Oh, oh crap! <laughs> you just punched me in the back of the head. What's up with that? Pretend that didn't happen either. Oh. What's going on? I missed that pole. I wasn't far from it. Alright, that didn't happen either. Uh. Don't break, don't break, don't break. Okay. I was lucky. I actually just jumped. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how Nathan Drake developed his taste for murder. 
from that moment on. He killed hundreds and hundreds of people. You all right? What are you shaking for? Mr. Anderson. Just close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. And that's how... Sully. Come on. You okay, kid? He's an accessory to murder. There's a modifying place you got here. Very retro. Relax, kid. <gasps> We're safe here. Is that corn? I love me some corn, baby. Suit yourself. You don't want it. Oh, no, I want it. Looks strangely appetizing. For some reason. Whatever the hell it is. Looks like what do you want from me? <laughs> A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. And it's a mighty fine ass you saved. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. Probably a left angle. You are one piece of get work, it. kid. Crooks, evil. What's your story, anyway? Right angle, forget it. Look, mister. Look, my story. No offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedy. Pick the story. Goddamn. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> oh. Okay, good point. My man gets around. See. Come on, kid. If I was gonna take it from you, I would have done it by now. <laughs> That's what she said. What? Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. Hell yeah. As a kid your age, no Latin. I picked it up on the streets. The nuns sort of insisted on it. Uh, nuns? So, like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. It was a dinosaur okay. fighting school. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? Astro You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Hey, mm -hmm. well, I was watching you two kiss. Anyway. From the I'm rooftops. pretty sure I'm fired. Feels okay, look. Satisfying. First of all... That was no astrolabe. Duh. It's some sort of decoding device. He got it in his cereal. A hundred years ago. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, mm -hmm. So? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Guys, like millions stop. You're in plunder me. treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big. That big. It's not that big, that guys. You're making me blush. Has something to do with That's what all the girls are saying. I would bet my life on it. <laughs> oh, swell. Uh, and Marlo's got it. I'm gonna pause we'll it here much real good quick. Without